Yesterday was the deadline day for countries to submit their official 23-man squads to FIFA and the submissions have provided no shortage of talking points. There was a boost for city skipper Vincent Company who, along with teammate Kevin De Bruyne, was named in Belgium's official squad by manager Roberto Martinez. The central defender came off early with a groin injury during the goalless draw with Portugal at the weekend but Belgium are hopeful he will be fit in time for the big kickoff in Russia. And Belgium goalkeeper Simon Mignolet says he and his Red Devils colleagues are confident that company will be fit to play his part at the World Cup. Monday, June 4, 2018, 4.10 p.m., we have the confidence in the medical team in Vincent that he will be ready. Mignolet told Sky Sports News. We'll just let him get on with his recovery and rehabilitation and I'm pretty sure that he's got all the tools at our training camp to get himself in the shape he needs to be before the World Cup. Reed, company makes World Cup squad Reed, man. City Vincent, company Belgium injury But while there was a boost for Vincent, there was disappointment for City winger Leroy Sane who was one of four players to miss out on a place when Germany boss Joachim Lowe unveiled his final 23-man squad yesterday. Explaining his shock decision to omit Leroy, who was voted the PFA's Young Player of the Year and who played a key role in City's Premier League title triumph, the German manager was quoted in the Daily Mail, saying, that was a very close decision between him and Julian Brandt. If it was a 100 meters race it would have been a photo finish. Leroy has a huge talent, he will be back again from September. In the latest of their World Cup preview profiles meanwhile, the offside role chart why Raheem Sterling could prove to be a pivotal figure for England in Russia this summer. Thursday, May 3, 2018, 10.08 a.m., he was a crucial figure for City in their title charge, scoring crucial late goals to win the team three points on several occasions, writes Mary Amnaz. Sterling will be a valuable asset for England this summer. His pace and skills suit Southgate's team well. And a 3-4-2-1 formation will help create a perfect environment for him to thrive. Meanwhile, Pep Guardiola has joined a host of other leading figures from the world of football in paying tribute to the unique talents of former England, Barcelona, Newcastle and Ipswich manager Sir Bobby Robson. Sir Bobby, who passed away in 2009, is the subject of a new film called Bobby Robson, More Than a Manager, and during the course of the film, Pep, as revealed in the Newcastle Chronicle, says that it was Sir Bobby's cool composure and determined mentality during his spell in charge at the No Camp in the mid-1990s that initially persuaded him to become a manager Thursday, May 17, 2018, 5.13pm. It is not easy to manage Barcelona, especially in that period, Pep says in the film, I learned, when I saw him, how lonely the manager feels. And, in the bad moments, how always he had a typical smile. In my case, in that situation, it would have been impossible to react how he did. I know, for him, it was a tough period. I learned a lot because, in that period, I thought, I want to become a manager, watch, Pep Guardiola Manchester City simple football read, Pep Guardiola the stats, how he handled that situation was incredible. I admired him a lot. It doesn't matter what the media says or everyone pushing, always try to become, finally, young Amiens midfielder Tongi and Mbele has become the latest player to be linked with the move to City. According to Sports Malay, the 21-year-old has been monitored by City scouts after enjoying a breakthrough 2017-18 campaign where he spent the season on loan at Lyon. As always, remember, we'll be the first to confirm any completed transfers right here on ManCity.com.